Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Anno 2205. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you some gameplay of the demo that I recorded at Gamescom. Now just super quickly, if you've never played or heard of Anno, then it's a city building slash economic kind of simulation game with the added bonus of having real-time strategy elements. Meaning not only can you build an amazing city and manage your resources, but you can also go to war and let's be honest, blow shit up. Anno 2205 is the sixth installment in the series. And as you can probably tell by the 2205, it's set much further in the future. In fact, this time around, you can even set up shop or base on the moon. Also, one thing that's new to the series in this installment is the notion of session mode, where you can effectively have or control multiple cities in different areas or terrains. And you can then trade between these different sessions to provide you with resources that you otherwise wouldn't be able to obtain. So for example, some say, you know, advanced structures or like advanced kind of units or things like that may require materials from say the moon. So that means you'll need to factor that into your equation, work on say kind of constructing a moon session so you can then trade with your kind of city back on earth and then keep the resources going and in turn sort of, you know, help flourish your city. Great. Now in the gameplay demo you're seeing specifically, the end objective this time around is basically to get the resources required to unlock the ability to upgrade and complete your spaceport. Once you do that, the demo ends. And that is exactly what you're going to see in this video. And obviously upgrading the spaceport is key to your mission to the moon. Anyway, that is enough for me. If you guys have seen Anno before or you kind of know what it's about, then you'll know exactly what's going on. If you guys are new to the series, then largely sort of the premise of what's going on is in any kind of like economic structure game or any kind of city building game, you have to basically sort of manage your resources by, you know, building populations so they can then fill the city and kind of go to work. And then you need to obviously manage those by sort of, you know, giving them kind of structures that they can then, you know, amuse themselves by or power or things to kind of like keep the city clean. All that stuff like that needs to be factored in when building cities in Anno. And obviously in the bottom left hand corner, that's probably where you're going to want to sort of pay attention, especially if you're new to the game, because it has a lot of kind of details sort of saying, you know, if I'm kind of low on power or if there aren't enough people or different things like that. So that is probably going to be your best indicator when you're watching this gameplay. Anyway, that aside, that is enough for me. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. Crew's in the house, ready to build one hell of a spaceport. Your construction crew is one of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Your competitors will try to catch up. For the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. You need this desalination plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. Your facilities are consuming more energy than you are providing. 
This reduces their productivity. See? It's working now. range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Good. We should keep this procedure in mind in future. Corporation value has risen. Didn't expect the management to show up. Please, come in. All systems online. Can't wait to get started. Remarkable progress. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But I'm sure you have the same potential. Trying to keep pace with us is futile. Lei Sheng electricity moves at the speed of light. Your industry suffers from a shortage of workforce. This impairs productivity. Your facilities are consuming more energy than you are providing. This reduces their productivity.
Very good. We should standardize the process. Business successes multiplying. Good. We should keep this procedure in mind in future. Trying to keep pace with us is futile. Lei Sheng electricity moves at the speed of light. Good. You've gathered the components needed for the elevator. Only the elevator cable requires special materials you can't produce. But I arranged for a delivery. Your technicians are ready. Start the elevator construction once all other requirements are met. My associate, John Rafferty, is already heading here with the special material deliveries. Your industry suffers from a shortage of workforce. This impairs productivity. See? It's working now. Clever move seeing to your staff's good health. Benefits like that make you a more attractive employer. <laughs> 